Hello everyone, this is Rob uh, from Kanye. Um, as you see, I'm in Belaruskaya. This is the train station of uh, Russia. In Russia, story with you guys. So if you like it, if you like what I'm doing, you can smash the like button down there or subscribe for future videos. So, uh, so I'm looking forward for it to see how it is, how it looks like inside. Send you guys uh, the vision. They are really, <laughs> yeah. You see families checking each other and the uh, yeah, okay then. Hello, so yeah, this is how it looks like. That's when we're opening a... Oh, by the way, our cover, our door, <laughs> his name is Berlin. Let's see what's inside here. So, yeah, so see. Wow, oh, this is how the train stuff. This is a baggage where you put your stuff. We have a, a mirror here, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's a bed, a bed with like already made bed. So you can see you have four of them, just for my kids and my and my wife will obviously be here. You have a trash can here, window, heating system, a light, and uh, so basically that's how it looks like. You got a, a ladder if you have to climb up, and uh, well. We are looking forward for a very interesting journey. So, uh, yeah, bye. So, yeah, I want to show you guys the hygienic situation of this train, which I think is quite, quite interesting to watch. So, I'll take you guys. When you come inside the train, you have all the main small rooms. They call them coupe in Russia, and you have something which where you can keep your luggages for free, which is good. And uh, let's go into the toilet. I've heard they have a fantastic toilet. So as you can see, this is a toilet. Let's go and see how hygienic it is. Oops. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty cool for the standards that we have here. We have a clean toilet. The water working. Let's check it out. Yeah, the water. The water is working. We have electricity. We also want to shave and uh, some toilet rolls and uh, clean stuff for the team. So this is how what you get when you travel. Yeah. So it's quite clean. It's quite clean. Uh, and you have trash bag, trash bag. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I think it's pretty much it. So you can close and open, and there you go out. Yeah. Out and travel. And by the way, there is a restaurant here, which we're going to check a little bit later. As you can see, the sign of the restaurant here. See the sign of the restaurant, yeah, and uh, all the people here. So, uh, this is uh, the head of, uh, of our, our train actually. Yeah. So, hoping that it's going to be a very good experience. And by the way, if you don't have water and you need really water to drink, we have uh, something like this, yeah. which is a water jar. So you can always use carbs and, and then we call like water, which is fun and very safe and that's the other cabin. So that's it. Уважаемые пассажиры, просим вас уважать покой окружающим. Во время поездки переведите мобильные устройства в беззвучный режим. При работе с электронными устройствами, пожалуйста, используйте индивидуальные средства прослушивания. Благодарим за понимание. Желаем приятной поездки. Uh -huh. А такая ресторан это на пятое, да? Ресторан через пять вагонов в ту сторону. Еще по почте пойдут наши проводники с тележкой. У них чай можно приобрести, uh -huh. кофе, шоколадки. Uh -huh. А меню ресторана? Меню ресторана это через проводников. У вас здесь на столике есть только холодные блюда. Ну да, да. Да. А горячее через проводников мы позволим. Uh -huh. Внизу кнопка есть вот здесь. Uh -huh. Да. Вызов а это? Это а, просто эксплуатация. А, да. а, смотрите, Внизу... кнопка вызов проводника. А, вот, Если вот, вопросы вот, 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 да? возникнут, нажмите. Да. Okay. Ладно, спасибо. А ты будешь еще раз или? Uh -huh, давай. Uh -huh. Взаимно. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
So the lady was just saying that actually if we need something from the restaurant that's where the button is so you press the bell there and uh, someone will come and serve us from the restaurant yeah so uh, we are still in Moscow uh, it's just an introduction uh, um, before your, before our trip yeah basically she just wanted to keep us comfortable she just normally wanted to keep us comfortable telling us what uh, we expect from the services on the train okay now we are going to the restaurant so let's check it out and see what we have here I like the Kashavska, which is um, uh, yeah, was also very neat, and now we can see it. It's like that, it seems to be done in all the dishes, so you have a sector where people are short travelers. Yeah, we just arrived in Smolensk, which is the port of town of Russia. Yeah, Smolensk. So, uh, what's the community? Now we are going to the city. So, this is Smolensk. We just had one second to stop there, so it's so difficult for you to guys just to see. But anyway, you can see from here, from the windows. Uh, yeah, it is now renowned, a renowned city. From its textiles, textile and uh, food processing in Russia, very top restaurant um, uh, factories are located in Simalensk. Today is uh, it's said to have a population of 400,000 inhabitants, Russians. So Simalensk is between Russia and Belarus. In the next, which means in the next 30 minutes or 40, we will already be inside there. We've just arrived in Russia. Russia is a border, but it's already Belarus, the border city in Belarus. Yeah. We have these ladies selling fruits, which is very normal in Russia. What? <laughs> 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, so it's, it's been a lovely journey so far and uh, I only
only good impressions I do have. So you guys should, so for the, those who are afraid of traveling by uh, flight, is, I think it makes sense. Well, we haven't arrived in Europe yet. We're still in Eastern Europe. But I, I, I think um, so far so good. Uh, the results are very, very interesting. Yeah. These grandmothers trying to make some extra cash by selling their fruits. This is Ma deal it, huh? No. Uh, she's the one that actually did it. Did it uh, she planted all this. No, but I'm just telling you how to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm 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 not Yeah, не будет, спасибо. А, здравствуйте, где купи мороженое? А вот женщина, вот такая. Мороженое? Мороженое. А сколько? 75 рублей. За один? Да. Ой, а сколько штук осталось? У меня 5 штук. 75 рублей за один? Да. Рублей. Ру, русский рублей. Да, да. Не знаю, это доллар, по-моему. Hello, we just stopped at uh, Minsk, the capital of Belarus. And everywhere you go, you see the same stuff, the same Soviet buildings. You can see that. So from Minsk, we're going to Brest, and we're from Brest, that is the border with Poland, I, I guess. And here we are, we have arrived at the Brest border, which is bordering Belarus and, um, and uh, Poland. Yeah, so uh, what put the list that would, our passports will be checked, our passports will be checked, and um, yeah, passports will be checked, we'll stamped on an exit visa, then we'll move to the other side of Europe where we'll be stamped on entry visa to the European Union. Yeah, this is a normal procedure that takes place for everyone who's traveling actually here. Yeah, so we are normally waiting. We will stop here for a while. I think it's going to take like 30 minutes. Usually with other trains, it takes like almost... I mean, if the rails were had to be changed, it would take like almost three hours. So well, we'll be waiting. Hi, right, so we have arrived at the press border leading to the European Union. But at the Belarusian side, we will now give our passports and our passports will be stamped to leave. The Russian Federation, because Belarus are there, they have they are in a union in in, in, uh, in this side of the, the world, the Eastern Europe. They have something like the Eastern, like the Eastern Bloc, as you know. So our passport will be given to the Belarusian army, the, the Belarusian uh, police, and uh, they will stop us and exit. That's why well. after that we were going to move to to Poland, uh, where we will be stamped and entry to the European Union. Yeah, that's a normal procedure protocol we did not. Yes, a little bit of technical uh, information is contained in the Russian railways. The Russian railways are generally larger in width than the European. So this was done during the Soviet Union to protect the Russian Federation, the Soviet Union, to protect the perfect Soviet Union in general against any surprising war. So you can't just drive into the, the, the land space if you don't have the right wheels. So the Europeans are my uh, rails are, sw are quite smaller. Why? You can see in the video there. These are kind of the, you have two types of rails, the European and the Western rails. You can see carefully that's a Russian train. Some trains you have to stay here for two hours so they change the race. But we are lucky to have an automatic train which is going to cross the border without changing the race. So if you look out there, that is Brest. Brest railway station. We are now right the Brest border station. So uh, yeah, I think this is the border. Yeah, living to living for for Poland. Yeah, so we will move into from here. We go to Poland and Poland and uh, move head to the Czech Republic, and then we will arrive to Germany. So you can see the custom officers and the ready ready for their job. Давай, Александра. Александра.
checking our passports, they have to stamp us actually. This is the Granitsa Control, which is immigration control for Belarus Republic. Yeah. Very smart. So they just had to ask the pet certificates of the kids. I really think very important. Okay, we can go out, we need three days to go out. So they check our cabin is possible. А там вот две, да? Две. This is what I was saying about the rails. This is a rus Russian rails. You can see how big it is. But we are on a European rails already. Or oh, it changed or something of that sort. I think it has changed already. Yeah. Yeah, I just met some foreigners also live going to Germany by train and uh, I will just meet them now and we we'll have a chat so that's what we're going to do now he's actually from Uganda and he's moving uh, to, uh, to Europe by train as well as I am so uh, what's your name you said? Joseph Joseph is Joseph uh, from Uganda yeah are you Mary the son of Jesus <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are students or what? Yeah, we're students. Yeah, so you're just on holidays? Or? No, we actually had gone for research uh, yeah. excursion okay. in in Belarus. So this is your first time on train? Is this your first time? Or you guys do normally? The... No, we, we take a lot of trains, but this is the first... Fastest night. means today, night? No, yeah, first night and train. And these are all students, right? Yeah. Okay. Except I, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard uh, the, the, the the migration lady talking about there's a, there's a lady here from um, Kenya. Not only Kenya. Bangladesh. Bangladesh. I was like, what happened actually? So, is everything okay? Yeah, sure. It was just about uh, passports because yeah. Uh, yeah, they're not EU passports. Okay. okay. So they needed to verify more. And, uh, okay. Basically that. Yeah, fine, cool. But I have a lot of people writing, asking about how safety, different ways to use train uh, between Russia and the European Union. So I just decided to make it this time in this trip. I've done it a lot, but this is my first time. I mean, I just have my little blog and uh, so Berlin, are you are you German? Yeah, you look German, <laughs> and she looks, um, I, I guess, there's a couple of them German too. <laughs> Oh yeah, we are slowly arriving to Berlin, the capital of Germany. Yeah. So uh, normally it's in the next 15 minutes. Kids are nice preparing. What we are going to do now is everybody will get up. So a couple of minutes, everybody will get up and uh, clean up. Everybody get up and clean up. Brush your teeth, wash your faces, and to jump out because the train stops at Berlin so uh, so far so good it has been a very good experience for us had a, a nice sleep and uh, we've just got up uh, we hope that um, yeah but generally I was saying it's traveling by train is it's encouraging you can have uh, there are certain things you can do when you do this. You can actually buy cards, come with friends, you can eat on the train, you can tell stories, which is quite relaxing. It's not that distressed. But, and as you know, at every in these trains, every train has a cabin of four. So, four. so you have two ups, two heads, and two down. So, so your privacy also is protected in terms of. Uh, you're like a uh, family and there is a good uh, there is also an idea that if you put if you're traveling alone and you put a, 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 a cabin where there are only men you can actually you can actually negotiate with the controller to go to a female sector if you don't feel comfortable so it's also a plus there so um, well we'll be waiting when we'll be waiting uh, in a couple of minutes well, we arrived to Berlin and um, we'll give you guys uh, uh, an image of how it looks. 
looks like even in terms of the railway station as related to, to Moscow difference in style and quality because the Soviet always had the Soviet for most of it countries always have a certain way of building their structures why in Europe is quite uh, contemporary yeah so uh, I'll give you guys a grasp on that and um, And, uh, yeah. So we are And uh, now we are going up taking her uh, We are taking a next uh, that's it. train station, railway station, is built in Germany, in Berlin. It was built in 2006 against the World Cup and um, yeah, I heard the budget was like a billion dollars or so, a billion dollars, so yeah, and um, it's quite impressive. Well, my honest take on the trip is that it was really a very interesting trip. Uh, we have arrived in uh, the capital of Germany, it's Berlin. And, um, uh, very lovely weather here. Yeah. Had a nice time, the kids slept well, the whole crew slept well. and. Um, we're looking forward to continue the journey. My take is that using a train is not a bad idea for someone who wants to relax. Maybe not for business reasons because you, time could be a factor there. But um, I think generally, for a family reason, this really makes sense. By the way, this is the center of Germany. It's uh, Alex Platz. <laughs> Alex Platz. Nächste Station. Berlin, ja. Alexanderplatz. Alexanderplatz. Sie haben Übergang zu den Zügen des Nahverkehrs sowie zur S-Bahn. Bitte in Fahrtrichtung links aussteigen. <lacht> 